Hello and welcome back to Aliena's Kitchen, where today we're going to be making a delicious grapefruit rosemary cocktail. But first, I have to get some rosemary from my garden. The first thing you are going to want to do is core your pineapple. You can either just normally cut it, but I love my pineapple core. I think it's the coolest invention because it's so easy and I always hate having to cut pineapple. And today we're going to be needing two cups of pineapple. So let's core it. Wow, this is a big pineapple. Come on, buddy. And here we have our fully cored pineapple. I'm just gonna throw about half of my pineapple in my pot. This is around two cups. And put the rest of that in there. I was gonna measure it out, but I was like, why not just wing it? The next thing I'm going to add to my pot is some freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. This is about a cup of freshly squeezed grapefruit juice or about two large grapefruits, along with half a cup of water and a third cup of cane sugar. And you wanna make sure that you're using cane sugar for this recipe, as well as some fresh rosemary I got from my garden. And you can use anywhere between four to like six sprigs, I would say. And now I'm just going to turn this on a medium heat and let it simmer down for about 10 to 15 minutes until my pineapple is really nice and soft. Now that my mixture has been simmering for about 10 minutes, I'm just going to gently mash the pineapple down. And then I can take my masher out and add in my zest. And I have the zest of two large grapefruits going in. and we can just give this a stir. Now we can strain our mixture because we don't want all the pulp in there, but if you find that you want more liquid, you can always reuse all the pineapple and rosemary and just add more grapefruit juice and water and sugar and it'll be just as good. Next, you're going to wanna to make sure that your liquid is completely chilled. So I'm going to pop this in the fridge for about 30 minutes or until it's completely chilled. It's now time to create our cocktail. And the first thing I'm going to do is do a sugar rim. This step is completely optional. You can totally skip it, but I love a sugar rim. I think it's always a nice little treat. And so I'm going to take lemon and just go all around the sides of my glass. This will help the sugar stick to it and then put it in my sugar. And it's so pretty. I love sugar rims. For me, I think they're one of the best parts of a drink other than the booze and the rest of the drink. That didn't make sense, did it? All right, moving on. I'm now gonna fill my glass up with some ice, which is melting pretty quickly. Oh, come on, get in there. Next, I'm going to add in my tequila. You can also use vodka. I have made this drink so many times with my friends and some love it with tequila, some love it with vodka, or some don't love any alcohol at all. And I recommend if you are not drinking, add some sparkling water to it. But today I'm adding in a shot of tequila and you can use one to two ounces. It's up to you and how boozy you like it to be. Next, we can add in our creation of today. And you're going to want to add in half of this along with half of just grapefruit juice. You can either use just a carton like I am today or you can use freshly squeezed. That one is up to you. Now let's do it. And now the last part before we get to enjoy our cocktail is garnishing it. And I have some fresh pineapple along with a fresh sprig of rosemary. And now doesn't this look absolutely delicious? And I'm so excited for it because it's so hot outside today. I really need a good refreshing cocktail. So let's give it a taste. Mm. Wow, that is so good. I think all the flavors are perfectly balanced and it's a little boozy, just how I like it. So please let me know if you try this drink and let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you love cocktails as much as I do, there should be a playlist right here or over here of all my cocktail recipes. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next week. Cheers.
Also, one more thing. Make sure to check us out next Sunday because we are posting the most delicious pina colada milkshake.